Six fight winning streak, five of those by knockout, third main event in a row. I mean, things are going good for you right now. How does it, how does it feel to be Derek Lewis? I'm just here so I won't get fined. Next question. Oh, gosh, it's going to be one of those. No, <laughs> you know, it's funny. When you made your USC debut, I think everybody was, uh, you know, kind of excited about you, a lot of power, uh, but, but wondered, you know, what was the upside? If you were just kind of a raw talent or if you really had what it took to be a contender. Now you're a contender. When you came in the UFC, did you feel you could be in this position? I'm just here so I won't get fined. Next question. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. no, but, you know, it's, it's funny. I mean, I think everybody's been a fan of yours because of your personality, but we wondered if you had the talent to really be there, and you've answered those questions. I mean, when you came in, did you know you had the talent, or were you still kind of not sure about yourself as well? You know, I'm, I believe I always had the talent, you know, um, because I'm really, I've been in brawl all my life, even in the streets. So, you know, I had talent, and just to see, like, the level change from being in fighting in the streets and fighting in the UFC is really, it's no different because I'm still fighting the same way. You said all along this is about money, uh, but you're starting to get close to a belt, and belts do equal money. So, I mean, are you starting to think maybe maybe a championship title wouldn't be that bad? I started itching. So, yeah, so hopefully, you know, after this fight, they give me the title fight and um, that I can make um, the money that I want, that I, what I need. But if not, I'm fine, you know, that I just renegotiate my contract again, and I'm happy with this, what I have. Very nice. When they came to you with Mark Hunt, I think a lot of people thought maybe you deserved an even bigger name or at least a higher-ranked opponent. But it is kind of cool, I mean, a legend in New Zealand. So what was your level of excitement? Were you like, yes, I love this fight? Or did you think, ah, oh, I was kind of hoping for somebody a little higher up the rankings? No, I believe that um, Mark is the toughest guy in the division. So, you know, I wanted to fight the toughest. You know, I have wanted to fight Travis. You know, I call out guys that I believe that is the toughest that's going to give me a challenge. You know, I don't call out guys that I believe I could real, whoop real easy. You know, I don't, I don't do that. And so, and I believe that it's just going to be a tough fight. The guy that's been calling out your name a whole lot has been Francis Ngannou. He doesn't have quite the, the, the experience that you have, you know, the, the, the record that you have right now. Do you feel like he deserves an opportunity for you? Do you feel like he, maybe he's trying to get a little too far ahead of himself? Oh, not at all. You know, I don't blame him. Shit. Um, I wanted to fight him before I uh, called out Mark, you know. And so if he wants to get this work next, he can come on, come on. He can get this work, you know. But you're ultimately hoping maybe a title shot. Do you think maybe you could sneak in there? Because I think a lot of people are looking towards, uh, you know, the Overeem uh, Verdun winner. But, they, you know, those guys both just had their chances. Do you feel like you do something impressive here? Maybe you should sneak past those guys? Yeah, you know, those guys there, they punch drunk, you know. You blow on their chin, they drop them. You know, they don't got the chin like they used to anymore. Especially Overeem. Since he's been off the juice, he ain't been having nothing, you know. So we'll see. Mark Hunt's been pretty respectful of you this week, and he, he likes to talk a little trash about people, but he's, he's uh, been, had kind words for you. What do you feel about this matchup? I mean, do you feel that the, you, you know, it's tough for you when you're not angry at a guy or when you like a guy to go in there and do what you have to do? Not at all. You know, just the whole sport of mixed martial arts and fighting, period, is fighting a guy that didn't do anything to you. So trying to find some type of motivation is, yeah, it's, it's pretty hard. So, But going into a fight with Mark, you know, I'm just always in my tone of vision anyway, thinking the worst, you know, about my opponent, no matter if they friendly or not, you know. Overall on paper, this looks like a slugfest. It will be a slugfest. It will be a slugfest. And this time, um, I, I believe it will be fighting of the night or something like that. You know, it won't be no Bigfoot Silver versus Mark Hunt because Mark Bigfoot Silver was on the juice. You know, I'm not going to be on the juice, so you'll see all natural. But you might smell some fried chicken and watermelon come out of me. That's about it. And then the sight set on uh, Stipe Miocic after that. You like the way you match up with him? Yeah, I love the way I match up with Stipe. You know, I believe Stipe is going to come out and try to arrest me. You know, um, just play right into my game. You know, I like guys that try to come out and wrestle me. But it'll just be a boring fight, but I believe I can still come over. And you know, come up with the win. And then I believe you have a, a wedding lined up shortly after. I guess the, the, the most important thing is, uh, it, it, does that mean we're going to hear less comments about Ronda Rousey? Has, has, she, has she told you you got to you got to you got to trim that down a little bit? Of course, she say I got to trim that down. But um, that's Ronda Rousey fine ass man. You can't can't really tone too much down. You know, you know she posting a little what is that paint pictures paint picture video and all that. The Sports Illustrated, you can't, come on now, can't be teasing me like that.